Hi, my name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food, and I am here today with a simple and delicious recipe for no-bake peanut butter pie with a peanut butter crumb crust. I'll make sure to leave the recipe in the description box. Let me show you what you're going to need. So for the crust portion of the pie, you're going to need some melted butter, sugar, peanut butter, and graham cracker crumbs. For the pie portion, you are going to need Cool Whip, cream cheese, peanut butter, powdered sugar, and some sort of garnish. Now I am using chopped up Reese's peanut butter cups, but you could also use peanuts, chocolate, or you could just leave it plain. So let's get started. So we're gonna start by making our crust. And so I'm just pouring in my melted butter and next I'm gonna add my peanut butter and I'm just going to stir it up until it's nice and smooth. Next, I'm going to add in my sugar and my graham cracker crumbs and I'm just gonna stir it up. I did wanna mention if you wanted to use a crunchy peanut butter, that would be absolutely fine. I happen to just have creamy, so that's what I am using. So I've got my crumb mixture all mixed up and I am pouring it into my nine inch pie pan and I am just going to press the mixture on the bottom of the pie pan and then also up along the sides as well. Okay, so my pie shell is ready to go. I'm gonna pop this in the refrigerator for about an hour and let it set up. Okay, so let's start on the pie filling. I have my cream cheese in a bowl and it is softened and at room temperature. I'm just adding in my powdered sugar and I'm going to mix this until it's smooth. Now I'm going to add in my peanut butter and then after I have that blended, I'm going to fold in my Cool Whip. So once you have your topping all mixed up, you're just going to put it into your prepared pie shell. Okay, I've got my filling all spread out. Now it's time to garnish your pie. And like I said, you don't have to garnish your pie if you don't want to. I just think it's a nice touch. You could use, as I mentioned earlier, chopped peanuts. I'm using Reese's peanut butter cups that I've chopped up. You could also use some um, chocolate, just kind of drizzled chocolate over the top. Or if you wanted to save a little bit of that whipped topping, you could add that on top as well. So I'm just sprinkling this on and then I'm going to very loosely cover my pie and put it in the fridge for a few hours. Okay, so here is the pie. It was chilling in my refrigerator for about four hours. And of course, as always, I cut out a slice so you all could see what it looks like. This is such a quick and easy pie. So simple to make. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. If you like this video, you'll probably like the other no bake pie videos that I've done on our channel. I have one for an Oreo pie, a Butterfinger pie, banana pudding pie, and a million dollar pie. And I will make sure to link all of those videos in the description box. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. That really helps us out. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, we'd certainly love to have you. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.